Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a sermon by St. Bernard, Abbot, I love because I love. I love that I may love. Love is sufficient of itself. It gives pleasure by itself and because of itself. It is its own merit its own reward. Love looks for no cause outside itself, no effect beyond itself. Its profit lies in its practice. I love because I love. I love that I may love. Love is a great thing so long as it continually returns to its fountainhead flows back to its source, always drawing from there the water which constantly replenishes it. Of all the movements, sensations, and feelings of the soul, Love is the only one in which the creature can respond to the Creator and make some sort of similar return, however unequal though it may be. For when God loves, all He desires is to be loved in return. The sole purpose of His love is to be loved. In the knowledge that those who love Him are made happy by their love of Him. What then of the bride's hope, her aching desire, her passionate love, her confident assurance? 
is all this to wilt just because she cannot match stride for stride with her giant any more than she can vie with honey for sweetness, rival the lamb for gentleness, show herself as white as the lily, burn as bright as the sun, be equal in love with him who is love? No, it is true that the creature loves less because she is less. But if she loves with her whole being, nothing is lacking where everything is given. To love so ardently, then, is to share the marriage bond. She cannot love so much and not be totally loved. And it is in the perfect union of two hearts that complete and total marriage consists. Or are we to doubt that the soul is loved by the word first and with a greater love? From the desert with Desert Faith this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.